Hey, hey. Hi, all crafters. I'm back again with my second half of my Midnight Masquerade um, tutorial. I have jumped a bit today and I have pre put my tape on just purely so. Sorry, my hands are a bit mucky. I've been pulling a few weeds out in the garden. Um, I hate soil, it gets all up your nails. So, I'm just going to take my acetate and drop that in place. Done it again, piece in it, but as you push it down, it comes out. Shh. Um, I'm just going to do what I did yesterday. Just take that overhang of. And you know, I've just realised what I've done. Sorry, people. I'm going to have to take this acetate back off, if I can get it off. I only actually wanted it on. Let's leave it on this side and see if we can get it off at the other side. I only actually wanted it on three sides. of acetate. Oh, there we go. Managed to get that off. Just pull it tight now because obviously I've moved it a bit so it's going to try and curl up on my... So there we go. We've got us acetate in now. Obviously this is going to be this side to this one so that you can slide your photos in um, so now <coughs> I'm going to pop that over there I pre did me adhesive on this the first bit I'm going to put down is going to be my middle section um I did put a bit of music on in the background actually. Um I love listening to eighties. So if you get another bit of tape, just push it back. I do. Thank you. And then I've done the same here. That was just my partner bringing me a cuppa. I love these cuppas. And then if you just bend that in into that corner. make sure that it sits down in all your corners burnish that down and just bring this over I did take this over that the extra this morning this little fold on this bit purely because last night it were I didn't have enough edge so now I know that this bit here is going actually did I mean to do that no I didn't damn no I didn't let's see if we can peel this up and get some more red tape on that do you know my brain ain't with it this morning 
really isn't. Um, sun's picking back up again. It's awfully hot. Terribly. Um, kids are at school, so got a bit of peace for the next hour or so. Well, no, next next forty five minutes. Father on from school. Right. So this is this bit now. Before you put it on. <coughs> Obviously, yesterday as you saw, I didn't want that to stick there. I did leave a little bit of a gap. So I'm just going to take this and this is for my cricket. Um, cutting machine I um, find it fantastic when you're doing stuff like this I might just have to trim that a little bit there we'll see when we get this folded up I don't think I've got this frame the right way around just to see if I can gently pull this off here see this tape is absolutely super strong as you saw there now I had to really really pull it <coughs> it's quite hard when you you've got wood and acetate all together Don't forget to ink up. I did ink up earlier. Um, I got everything pre ready. Oops. I'll just burnish this up. And I did pre scar actually before I started today, you know. So. It was the same as yesterday, two inch all the way around on all four sides, then one inch, and then I think I did it at one and one and three fourths for this opening bit. But just give me that bit extra just to bring it around that corner. As you see, for some reason, this one today has fitted a lot better. And just burnish that down. Then we'll grab this little piece that is going to go on here and across here. I have got a little bit more here, what I'm just going to. side but you can just get your ink dabber and just re-ink back in Some alcohol pens and I don't like them I really really don't like them I bought a full set of chameleon alcohol pens and it cost me about 160 quid something daft like that 
and I really really don't like it as you can see someone's out racking the car they my car because I'm horrendous <laughs> right so if we lift this up here and we'll just just place it on and then we'll just burnish that down there obviously just getting it in your corners could have moved that over a bit more but if you like me you've just caught a bit of paper on the corner just get your ink pad and just gently blend it back in and as long as the I do just a right little bit of blending won't hurt the paper you know it just blends that corner back in right so that's that bit of the box done now I'm going to grab my washi tape that I used yesterday but I'm going to use the lighter colour on this side I used the darker colour last night and tonight today I'm going to use the lighter colour and I'm just going to do the same again line it up give it that bit extra over push it down and then just snip it I burnished this bit down but I'm not going to burnish up to where my lines are going to go because it's easier to peel it back and cut it um, on your angles. I did get some um, little injures. Obviously, if you're in the UK, you'll know what B&Q is. Um, it's our sort of like DIY store where we go buy stuff from. Um, obviously, in America, you'll probably have Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joanne's and stuff like that. I wish we so had these kinds of shops over here. Because it's... We just can't get craft supplies like they do in America and it's like you see all these going with vouchers and they get stuff so so cheap and it, it sickens you really really sickens me it does at times but you know and then for us to get them from America we have import taxes and all the rest and it, it's just like what is going on with this world everyone should be on an equal par you know it should be the same in every country and it's I suppose in a way it's our governments for us I'm just lining this up corner to corner and then I've cut my washi tape and just cutting it so that I can just peel that back I think it's more just to have that nice little neat corner I think it just finishes it off on that nice little corner bit um, it just gives you that bit extra I think at some point I will be getting my fan out it is absolutely stifling hot over here in the UK and I was talking to my mum a bit ago and she says it's going to get even hotter and it's you know, I've got an holiday book for September with my mum for two weeks. And it's like, wait, British weather's going on at the moment. You don't need one. It's just so hot. But it is for my birthday. And I'm so looking forward to it. It's me. As they say, I'm at in the prime of my life. It's my big photo in a, oh, about two, three week tops. And I'm just so looking forward to it. I'm not going out because I don't drink. I'm not a 
a drink. I'd rather spend £100 on crafts than spend £100 on alcohol. You know, I'll have a drink every now and then, special occasions, weddings and stuff like that, but that's it. Right, so we've now got there's two boxes. As you can see, I've done one in the dark and one in the lighter. And this is where your photos are going to be able to slide through. So I'm going to work on the back of this one. Uh, do I want to work on the back? I might just... I did buy some hinges and I don't know where I've put them. I got them at B&Q the other day. And my partner seems to think everything his is. I've just spotted them. Just grab me coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I really like lattes. So <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible for lattes. So we're going to turn it over. Hopefully they'll stay. Um these hinges, I mean I've got loads and loads of crafting hinges but these ones are just little hinges and obviously I'm going to put one there and then I'm just going to get my bradle tool on at this side first. I am going to have to I'm going to have to nip in a minute and go grab a hammer. Purely, I didn't bring one up with me. So I'm just going to mark this side. I don't tend to measure, I tend to eyeball it, but if I look, I've done that about an inch and a half, I've done that at an inch, so I've done that at an inch and a half, right, so if I hold that like that. used to have a little toffee apple hammer that I kept in my drawers for crafting but we know what kids are like they come in mum can I borrow this and mum can I borrow that and yeah it's like no and then you come back and they've took it so because it's quite a tough wood I'm going to pause yours and I'll be back in five, ten minutes when I've gone and found a little hammer. Because there's no way I am going to get that on there without an hammer. So give me ten minutes and I'll be back.